I've been wanting to make uh, this video for a long time, a comparison between the TI-92 Plus and the TI-89. These two calculators are essentially uh, the second generation computer algebra system calculators from Texas Instruments. It all started with uh, the TI-92, which came out in 1995. Uh, the 92 was uh, shortly replaced with uh, the 92 so 92 second gen. And then three years after, three years after the 92 came out from 1995 to 1998, Texas Instrument introduced uh, the uh, uh, handheld version of uh, the 89 so this was the first uh, generation of uh, a pocket computer algebra system calculator from Texas Instrument in 1998 and uh, just a uh, couple months after I can't quite remember the exact dates but maybe two or three four I can't quite remember but just a uh, couple of months uh, after they launched uh, the second generation of uh, the original 92 which was called the 92 plus Okay. The difference between the 92 Plus, I covered that in a separate video. So essentially, uh, with this uh, uh, 92 Plus, they introduce a flash memory. Okay, so the 92 Plus, uh, when it comes to the software features, the 92 Plus and the 89 are essentially uh, the same calculator. Okay, just don't be intimidated by this uh, uh, keyboard layout. Okay, that's just there. That I don't even know the uh, reason why uh, they decided to. Uh, uh, have a, a second generation of uh, the TI-92 because it was not allowed on literally any test in the US here so I can only speculate I guess the only reason why they decided to have that one it was like a proof of concept uh, you know to show the world that they could do uh, something uh, uh, big something uh, uh, really uh, uh, nice in the calculator industry and uh, Beside that, another reason why they decided to, you know, to have several versions of this because this was not the last uh, calculator with uh, this QWERTY uh, layout keyboard. They also had the Voyage. Okay, they, the reason that make the most sense to me really is the fact that uh, you could very easily use these to write programs. These are uh, this and the Voyage 200 are the only calculators I use to write programs, TI Basics or TI Assembly. The programming features uh, on the TI-92 Plus and the TI-89, it's uh, they essentially have the same uh, features when it comes to programming. But depending on your on rat, on how you write your program, your programs, your code, it may not run on a TI-89. But you can also write your program in a way that it will run on not only the TI-89 but the Voyage 200, even the 89 Titanium, or even the regular uh, TI-92. Okay, so so there is that. Anyways, uh, when it comes to the features, uh, like I said earlier, software-wise, these do have the same fe features. Obviously, when it comes to the hardware, this one is uh, much more compact. This is a pocket size. This was allowed on uh, several tests here, here in the U.S., okay, but this was not allowed anywhere. So this was really, you know, I guess when this came out, it was really meant to be a, a, a collectible. You know, for uh, collectors like myself, you know, I truly appreciate this. You know, I'm even uh, I'm even a little I'm even a little sad the fact that uh, they don't make these anymore. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure there is uh, a huge demand for these kind of calculators if Texas Instrument uh, were to uh, make uh, a TI Inspire with uh, this kind of keyboard. You know, collectors would still buy. It. People would still buy it because it's much it's much more convenient to to program on these things than uh, it is to do on the actual ca uh, calculator. Uh, I almost never, well, not almost really, I never really write programs on this anymore. You know, I never write program on this because it's just uh, a pain, it's a pain. You can easily spend 20 seconds trying to uh, uh, write a word as compared to, you know, just a few seconds here, three, five seconds, and you have an entire word. Okay, so there is that. So visually, there are two different calculators. <laughs> I don't really need to say that. But also something that I failed to mention in my uh, uh, overview video of uh, the 92 Plus versus the regular uh, 92 is the fact that Texas Instrument finally got rid of uh, the uh, uh, the protective uh, uh, screen cover here that was here. So I'm touching the LCD here. There is no protection. So you can, uh, if you're not too careful, you can scratch this. You know, you can uh, easily scratch it. Well, I managed not to scratch my calculators, but uh, there are a few calculators that I have with uh, a slightly scratched display. It's not really a huge deal. It does not affect, you know, the way the calculator works. 
So that's that, that's something I, I wanted to mention. And for those who have the 92, you might be tempted to uh, remove the protective cover, thinking that it might improve uh, uh, your uh, experience. But the tr truth is, I've done that before. I did that, and uh, it does not help at all. It does not help in, in any way, because 92 really had a reputation of having a, a bad display compared to the 92 plus the 92 plus just has a far 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 better display compared to the 92 okay so there is that so if you have the protective cover on your 92 that came out in 1995 or even the 92 2 or the 92 second gen don't don't be tempted to remove the uh, cover because it's not gonna improve the display in any way okay let's go and uh, start this up both of these uh, are running essentially the same software I was just doing some basic testing here Okay, so if I go to about, you can see uh, what kind of firmware these two are running. Okay, so I'm doing this behind the camera, so okay, about. Okay, so about the first, the 92 Plus is running uh, OS version 2.09, which is the latest uh, operating system, came out in 2003. And uh, the 89, on the other hand, is running the same OS version as well, okay, 2.09, 2003 as well, and uh, I'm lucky to have uh, the latest hardware revision, which is hardware revision 2, on both of them, so hardware revision 2, uh, as far as I know, the only uh, difference between that and hardware revision 1, uh, as you might, uh, as you might know, uh, there were only two different hardware revisions, 1 and 2, so one did not have the ability to have clock and hardware revision 2 gives you the ability to have clock so if i go to app as you can see on the uh, right on the right upper corner you have uh, the ability to have the clock and dates on a calculator it's really not useful if you ask me but that's just my opinion i would i would rather have it than than not having it, i guess so there is that so software wise these two have uh, the same exact functions the same exact function even when it comes to programming features i believe i mean i haven't used all the uh, all the programming features on this but i'm pretty sure they have the same exact functions same exact functions for everything when it comes to calculus algebra trigonometry they have the same exact function same exact function just copy and paste so these two are essentially identical just like the voyage 200 and the 89 titanium are the same thing okay so if you will, if, if you will, this is like a, let's say if you are taking a, a pre-calculus or even a calculus class, differential, differential equation, you know, you can very, you can, you, you can be, you can, you can be comfortable using the 89 and uh, when you get home, you can use your Voyage 92, you know, to, you, you know, to uh, make your stuff a lot faster, to make a uh, writing your stuff, your expressions, your, your, uh, your equations a lot faster. As you can see, uh, if I were to, the reason why I find myself using this uh, the most now is that uh, let's say I want to solve a, a quick uh, equation. Instead of me going to algebra uh, solve, I can do that, which is actually faster. But what's the point of having this, uh, <laughs> this kind of calculator if you're not using it? So you can just uh, type solve, which did not take long at all. So you can do that here. Just type the word and uh, it's going to be here for you. But here you can do that as well, but uh, it's going to take you forever that's what I mean that, that it really makes no sense for anybody really to want to program on these things because trying to write the words is going to take you a crazy long time see you have to log the alpha first and I uh, try to look for each key individually solve let's see how fast I can do this okay and I've been using this for uh, nearly eight years, and I'm, you know this just this, this not just me. It's just uh, anybody who, most people who use this calculator, they're not gonna be really efficient when it comes to typing words, because we're not used to uh, alpha, alpha, alphabetic order uh, on our devices. So there is that. So they have the same features. They have the same functions when it comes to the software. So that's really about it. Uh, when it comes to the hardware, obviously this one has way more keys. And uh, one thing that surprises me till this day is that the fact that uh, this one, as big as it might seem, it does not have dedicated buttons for home, for catalog. So you, you are required to do a more than one keystroke for, to access those uh, menu or those features. So if I want to go to home from my app screen, then I have to press the diamond key 
and then the queue button is gonna take me to home. If I wanna access my catalog, I have to press the second key and then catalog. So that's really, uh, okay, put it, this literally makes no sense if you ask me. I mean, <laughs> I'm not an engineer, but uh, I'm a programmer, I write programs, so <laughs> this is something the uh, Texas Instrument, a big company like Texas Instrument could have figured, they, they, could, they could have figured, you know, this is just, uh, it just makes no sense to me why they didn't do that. And uh, the fact that the, the 92 did not have that, it came out in 1995, didn't have that. The 92 second gen that came out a year after the 1996 didn't have the dedicated button. Then the 92, 1998 didn't have it. You know, you would think that, well, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of funny that, you know, it's just dumb. You know, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm not calling those people dumb. It's just the decision they made uh, uh, to not have a dedicated button for the home and catalog. It's just a dumb decision. You know, it's just a dumb decision, if you ask me. And people who don't agree with me, I mean, just believe what you will. But uh, it was just a dumb decision. And even the Voyage to, uh, 200, which is uh, the latest, this is the last uh, 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 QWERTY keyboard uh, calculator Texas Instrument made 2002. Even that one didn't have dedicated button. The Voyage 200 has essentially the same key layout as the 92 that came out in 1995, except for the function keys here. Okay, so that's about it. Uh, you know, and uh, what even uh, <laughs> makes me more uh, angry about the fact that they didn't have a dedicated button for home and catalog is the fact that uh, they have three they have three buttons for enter, so one, two, three. You know, they have two buttons for the second, which is fine, but <laughs> I mean, come on, this makes no sense, really. Plus, uh, this hand uh, button here, this is for the geometry app. This calculator comes uh, pre-installed with a geometry app. I believe I uninstall it because I never use it. Uh, and that's the only time you would use uh, this uh, uh, hand uh, key right here. You cannot use it anywhere else. You cannot use it while graphing. You cannot use it while uh, performing operations. So that's the only time you would use that hand key to move your uh, triangles or your circles around while using the geometry app. And I already uninstalled the geometry app because I never use it. Uh, you know, and if you want it, if I ever sell this calculator to someone, they can easily, you know, get the app on TI website. You know, it's really easy to uh, uh, have the app. You can even uh, transfer data between two calculators. Speaking about transferring data, I'm going to bring a cable uh, and uh, show you how you can transfer data between these two calculators. Okay, so I got a cable here. So this is the cable you need if you want to transfer data between two uh, Texas Instrument calculator. Uh, this works with uh, pretty much any Texas Instrument calculator with uh, the uh, uh, Mo Motorola MC1600 uh, processor. So that's, that includes the uh, original TI-92 from 1995, the second gen 92 from 1996, this, 19, this uh, 1998, 92 plus, the Texas Instrument 89, the Voyage 200, and the Texas uh, Instrument uh, the 89 titanium so with this uh, single cable you can transfer data between all these calculators very easily okay so all you need to do is just uh, plug the calculator i mean the cable into the io port here okay so the this one is at the bottom okay and uh from here you just gonna since this one has apps pre-installed not pre-installed i actually installed these two apps Calculus made it easier, and the equation writer. I don't really, I don't use none of this app. You know, cal Calculus made it easier. It's, uh, it's, it's a really handy app if you just start on Calculus, and uh, it can make your life uh, sl slightly easier. So I recommend this app. Uh, it's a really app, it's free. You can find it on Texas Instrument website. It's free, it's really easy to uh, install on your calculator as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer this uh, Calculus made easier on uh, the TI-92+. Plus. Okay, so this is original. This was for the 989, but I believe it's going to work for the 92 uh, on the 92 plus because, like I said, these two have essentially the same software. Okay, but uh, if it doesn't work, I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer something else. But uh, yeah, the good thing is my videos are not scripted, so everything I do here is uh, in, in real time. Okay, so since I have these uh, cable connected. Now the calculators are now fully connected. So to start initiating the uh, transfer, you go to uh, uh, bar link, 
okay so press second key access var link here second key var link okay so now that we're here so you need to go to uh, on it on the uh, receiving calculator the calculator that's going to receive data you go to uh, the f3 menu that says a uh, link here so you press f3 and uh, you click on receive okay so since the ti92 was did not have flash memory and uh, it was a really different calculator the ti92 is not really uh was not really uh a calculator that you you would compare to the 92 plus in certain regards it's uh you know it was uh, a calculator on its own you know this one the 92 plus you know is more compatible to the 89 because they essentially have the same exact features okay so receive just receive since we are receiving from an ti89 so we're just gonna click on receive and now on the 89 since i'm gonna be transferring uh applications it says flash up f7 so you have this function key here and uh in yellow you have x6 f7 f7 so you press second key f7 then uh, it's gonna show you the application install on this so i'm gonna try and um, transfer calculus made it easier okay so I'm just going to have that selected and press F3 here and uh, send. It says busy. Busy. So that's a good sign. And uh, on here, you see the bar progressing. So link transmission and it says error. Okay. Unlicensed OS or flash application. This is the very first time I tried this. I guess it's because... <laughs> I guess it's not compatible with the TI-92 Plus. I kind of feel bad that I, you know, I wasted your time, but you know, like I said, my videos are not scripted. I was not even planning on uh, do transferring these uh, uh, application to the calculator, you know. But uh, you know, I just thought of it in the middle of the video, so I thought I would give it a shot. Uh, anyways, it's not a big deal. It's not, it's not a big deal at all. So one thing we can do is, uh, if I were, if I, if I was a program that I worked myself, I could have very easily transferred a program between the two. Okay. But that's not a big deal. So what something else we can do is uh, I'm just gonna put a function here. So let's see. Let's do uh, just a, something very simple for the purpose of this video because I don't want it to be super long. So I'm just gonna put x squared minus two x minus three. Okay. So let's cancel here. And I just wanna make sure I don't have any function over here. So I'm just gonna remove all these function. I don't have to, but you know I just wanna make everything. Uh, I don't, I don't want to confuse you with all the uh, functions, okay? So I'm going to go back to uh, my var link. Uh, when I go back to my var link, you can see the y1. The y1 is the function that I just put uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the y editor. And if I go back to var link here as well, I can go back to F3, receive. And uh, with the, my y1 selected, I can press F3 and then send. And uh, that was almost instant, pretty much instant. And uh, the Y1 just pops up here. And if I go to my Y1, here I have my function and I can easily graph it. So that's how you transfer data between the two. I hope that was helpful. I think I didn't have it checked. Okay, there you go. I didn't have it checked. Okay, so that's how you transfer data between the two. Uh, anyways, this, my videos are always this long because once again, they are not scripted. They probably never will be. So uh, there is that. If you have any questions about the 89 versus the uh, or the 80, 90, 92 plus, just make sure you put in the comment section. I probably uh, haven't talked about a lot of stuff. I probably miss a lot of features, but you know, the <laughs> it's really hard to uh, it's impossible to go over all all the features in one video. So yeah, uh, that's the quick overview I wanted to make about these two calculators. If you have any questions, again, make sure you put in the comment section.